friends i am dr sunita rao from biani girls college today we are going to discuss about the michaelis menten equation first of all we must be familiar about what is michaelis menten equation a uh, german uh, biochemist uh, michaelis and canadian uh, physicist menten has gave this biochemical equation which is a most acceptable model for calculation of concentration of enzyme and substrate for any industrial purpose whenever a enzyme comes in the vicinity of a substrate the enzyme substrate binding sites those are the polypeptide chains of the protein come in contact and forms a bond and which will result into a product so how much enzyme is required what if, what will be the turnover of the enzyme and substrate reaction what amount of product product going to be formed we are going to calculate with this model that is michaelis menten equation first of all we must be familiar about a steady state kinetics that is a closed system where e represents the concentration of enzyme s represents substrate concentration and p represents formation of the product in steady state kinetics when enzyme and substrate come in close vicinity they will form enzyme substrate complex chances will be if the favorable reaction is going to perform then it will be work as es and uh, the constant will work k1 but whenever the chances got unfavorable so uh, whenever we enhance the uh, substrate concentration in the reaction it can uh, or enzyme is not sufficient for the substrate then a backward reaction also takes place when enzyme and substrate both get split from each other and the constant will work that is k minus 1 so whenever uh, again if the condition is favorable then es will form ep and k2 play as a constant reaction uh, constant for the reaction and k minus 2 will be the backward reaction so we can easily calculate from this reaction that k1 is equals to the concentration of ens and k minus 1 is the this es and k minus 1 so uh, whenever we talk about the total concentration of all enzyme and substrate we have to uh, familiar with these things that is k1 es is equal to k minus 1 es that is this one and k2 es so in this reaction enzyme in only three uh, two forms either it is a single enzyme or either it is a enzyme substrate complex so we can calculate from this equation that is k1 es is equal to k minus 1 es plus k2 es so uh, while taking both the things common we can write that is k minus 1 plus k2 es and uh, by uh, f sending this k1 here we can get es upon uh, uh, subscript es and uh, this will be referred as km so k minus 1 k plus 2 upon k1 will be referred as km that is michaelis constant whenever we are going to calculate the total enzyme concentration in this reaction we will be having this equation that is total enzyme is only in two forms that is es either it is binded to the substrate or either it is a alone enzyme molecule that is acting in the system so e will be equals to e naught minus es and we can put this equation 2 in equation 1 so the value of e is kept here we will going to having this reaction that is e naught minus es which is from this uh, equation e naught uh, minus es s and es so while putting the value uh, of equation 2 in equation v 1 we will be having this reaction so uh, after solving this reaction we are having e2 es is equal to es km plus s and we will be having a equation number 3 that is e naught s upon km plus s is equal to es so, uh, so as the reaction is uh, referred as initial velocity whenever the initial product has been combined with the substrate and this reaction is known as the v naught v naught is equals to k2 es that is the k2 and es so this substrate and enzyme whenever will be forming the product this initially it will be referred as v naught and we can put the value in uh, value of es or from equation 3 in equation 4 so this es will be capped here and we will be going to get the reaction that is this one here k2 e naught will be referred as v max because whatever amount of enzyme present in the system now has been converted into the product and the reaction system has attained its maximum velocity that is v max so we can say 
that v naught is equals to if v is equal to v max because we have now uh, referred k to e naught as v max. So, v naught is equals to v max s upon k m plus s. And we can also suggest that if the system is closed and we are not going to add any of the substrate from the outside, then the substrate is, is equal to S naught that is the substrate which is uh, combining with the enzyme is the total substrate of the reaction and we can say this as a S naught. While drawing a, uh, when we derive a graph from the uh, this equation of V naught and S naught because we have replaced the S with S naught, we are having such type of curve whenever <coughs> uh, enzyme and substrate combines with each other and the maximum velocity whole of the substrate has been consumed because all of the enzyme site has been occupied with the substrate and we will be having a V naught at maximum subs this is the saturation point and if we will add more substrate it will not change the reaction of the system and will it will be always the V max. So, we can refer that half of the velocity is achieved when of this full uh, whenever the substrate concentration of the system is the half. So, while this from this graph we can easily calculate that V naught is equals to half V max and when we uh, put the value of uh, this V naught with half V max we will get this equation and while solving the equation we can easily assume that K m is equal to S naught that is so from this equation we are uh, having uh, three or four uh, advantages like we can easily calculate the concentration of the substrate means how much of the substrate is required to attain the maximum velocity in the system. We can easily calculate the turnover number of the enzyme and we can easily calculate the efficiency of the enzyme and uh, substrate reaction. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website gurukpu.com. Thank you.